You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I am sorry, Father. This is not going to happen. Adesi, I know where you're coming from. But I'm going to tell you that your fears have been demystified. I'm here for something serious. I have no idea of what you're talking about. But one thing I am sure of is you brought my sister here because you have agreed to marry her off to Nelson. But Father, let me tell you, that is going to happen over my dead body. Over the years, we have underrated Nedi. Everything she said we dismissed with a mere wave of the hand. But I have discovered that in her dwelled all the visions of our ancestors. How do you mean? Because I have no idea how Nedi got into this conversation. How did you manage to smuggle in Nedi into this conversation? We are talking about you marrying my sister off to a beast, to, to, to a son of a cow. I will tell you what she told me that made me come here. It has nothing to do with marriage. I had a dream about you last night. It was made clear to me that you are the embodiment of the visions of our ancestors. That is why I called you. I am happy you called me my king. Chisom and Prince of Dioka are not destined to be man and wife. How do you mean? Both of them are in love and um, I have decided to allow them to get married. Blood may marry blood in other kingdoms on earth. But the sacredness of our journey will not allow that happen in Igbo land. My king, I see blood. And the blood has cancelled the marriage. What blood are you talking about? The blood that has crippled every effort to bring them together as man and wife. Their relationship is a build up to something. It will be revealed to you when you visit the palace of Dioka Kingdom. I made further inquiries and I discovered that the confusion in Dioka is because the prince they are planning to make king. It's not from Dioka. I don't know somebody. Says who? Says who? No, tell me. Says who? Mother of Dioka Kingdom. This woman was my very first love. What? Listen, I am not interested in this love story. I heard when you said that I am a royal crown prince. Please, can you expatiate on that? I was ordered to come here. My forces mightier than me. Now I know why. They want me to explain the mystery. 
And who the hell are you to explain mystery to us? Who is this Spain? This man here is the king of Ikenga. He has a son who men of Dioka have labored to make king but failed. Sir, you are the son. Well, how will you say he is my son? Well, you just called the king your first love. When you both parted with, you left her with pregnancy. Should I? Who, who, who is this maiden? Just answer the question. When he left, you found out you were pregnant for him. And you give birth to twins. Maiden and how come she knows so much? She is the one with all the visions and revelations of her ancestors. Now answer the question. When she says you have twins for me, is it true? The twins were separated at birth. The female child found herself as the princess of a kingdom. Why the little child? The Prince of Dioka. Hey, what? Fix makes no sense. <laughs> Fix makes absolutely no sense. The same person who frustrated me so badly forced me out of this, this country. Same person I have perfected plans to send to, 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 to prison. You are telling me this man is my brother. Not just my brother, my... My twin brother. How? Yes. He is your twin brother. The queen here cannot explain how it happened. The royal heads of Dioka found him as a child and took him in. About the same time, the late queen lost her pregnancy and died afterwards. My queen, your son was not just named as their son. The king hired you to look after this child. While her sister was already the princess of Ikenga. Hi. Hmm. Now I understand what Dinka has been saying. Now I know the reason everything failed. I know you are talking about the one that was being locked up. Yes, he saw it. But the ancestors did not reveal it to him clearly. My queen, if you doubt me, you can go for DNA. I've heard about the special maid who narrated everything. I've equally made up my mind to go see her to see if, if she, she could possibly help tell my story of where I come from. Since you believe so much in the maiden, why didn't you rush to go see her the moment you learnt about her? I was trying to be sure of things around here, but after she reviewed um, the story about the Prince of Dioka and the Princess being twins, a revelation that has been confirmed, scientifically correct. I made up my mind to go see her, to know if you could tell me where I come from. Well, there is no need to go see her again, because someone mightier than her is here. That's you. Please. What do you know? I'm 
eager to know my origin. Something tells me that if I know where I come from, my life will turn around. Why are you looking at me like that? You think what I'm saying is a lie or something? Your mother is the only one who will confirm this information. No, no, please, please. Leave my mother out of this. My mother has no idea where my father comes from. I have made up my mind not to even discuss that with her anymore. For every time I bring this up with my mother, she is left emotionally wrecked. So please. Let us not dwell on sentiments as one willing to be king. Let us not allow sentiment to overtake us. What do you mean? Call your mother. Let her answer some questions. From the answers she gives, you will be able to find out the truth. I want you to know that the princess of Ikenga loves you so much. She has been willing to become your wife and has not been able to do so because of the twist of the gods. What do you mean by twist of the gods? Good. Your mother did not lie when she told you that the man who fathered you died in an accident. That was how the gods wanted it. They wanted it to remain that way until they are able or rather willing to reveal it. What are you talking about? Hmm? The news has gone round that you are literally confusing the people. And that was why the Detroit Prince locked you up. Are you here to confuse my son Nicole? The man who was reported to have died in an accident 35 years ago actually died last year. Please, I need you to explain everything that there is. Everything. The girls used strange means to prevent Nelson from becoming the king of Dioka. Uh, we all know that. Like I already said, what has that got to do with my son and I? What? He was dethroned so that the true heir who is the rightful prince to emerge. Uh, please, how do you mean? Don't cover anything, just open it all. The man who got your mother pregnant in Carcina during the youth call actually became the king of Dioka. What? Silas, Ibizim. My goodness, that's the name. Yes, I remember, that's the name. He was the king of Dioka until he died last year. The accident affected him so much that he could no longer impregnate a woman. But before he died, the messenger of the gods told him, or rather they made him king of Dioka because the messenger of the gods told him that he has a son who will one day come back at the right time. And that son is you. The gods must have a reason why they allowed all that to happen. If not, it wouldn't have happened. Now that the reality of my actions has dawned on me, I feel so empty inside. I feel... I feel this void. Why would you say something like that? All these years we've been fighting each other without knowing we are twins. 
now that we are back and never to separate, we should be happy about that. Nelson, there is nothing to be happy about. I poisoned our father. I poisoned him to make him weak so he would not hand over Chisum to you. I've heard all that. But after poisoning him, he is still alive. That simply shows that the gods are aware of everything that has been happening. I don't think they are aware of this. Because the poison is gradually killing our father. This morning I was with him, he vomited blood. That was why I had to call in the doctors. Yeah, yeah. God, I feel so bad. I feel so bad knowing I'm the reason this man is going through all this pain. And it's killing me inside. Listen, I understand how you feel perfectly. But I want you to know that all that happened because of the twist of the gods. So let's look up and hope for a better tomorrow. Honestly, I never wanted to come back to this palace. But the king reached out to me himself and insisted that I, Ned, must come back to the palace. <laughs> Will I disobey the king? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I have no option than to come back here. And here I am. <laughs> you don't yes. have to disobey the king. Of course. I'm really happy for you, Ned. You, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Did you just say that? Please, don't even make it appear like you are happy for me. Mm -hmm. You are not. I know your state of mind. But it's okay. It's well. Mm. I know, right? I can sense the feeling. But see, Nedi, I'm deeply sorry for everything. Please mm -hmm. leave me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, wait. Wait. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I accept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chukuru, wait. <laughs> I have an important question, which is what is going on between you and the Jay-Z in this palace? To understand that he even came out fully for you. <laughs> Not you know. He said he is moved in his spirit to help me. And that is yeah. it. He's just a good man. To understand of him taking you to his grandmother's house. Or uh, is there anything special? He's no, <laughs> Please, my dear, some questions are better left unanswered. I do not have answer to this your question. Thank you. Are you asked? So, girls, what has been happening in the palace since I left? Hey, my lord. I came to know how prepared you are. How, how do you mean? What preparation are you talking about? It's been confirmed that I'm the son of the late king of the Oka kingdom. Not just the son of the late king of the Oka kingdom, but the only one who came from his loins. For he lost his manhood through accidents after he had you. Even our late queen got pregnant through another man. She died because she was trying to impose it on the late king. Okay. So. What preparation are you talking about? What do you want me to do? For you to become the crown prince who will later become the king of the Oka kingdom. We will expose you to the Ogidi of the Oka kingdom. Ogidi? I don't know what that means. It's a crucial ritual that must be performed by one who will become king. 
the dethroned prince did not go through this because our late king intentionally made him avoid it. Okay, does it mean he was aware that the, that the dethroned prince wasn't his biological son? It's a possibility. And also, maybe the reason the ghost never allowed us to crown him king. Okay, oh no. Brief me about this ritual. What do I need to do? Nothing. Just make yourself available tomorrow. I will take you to the chief priest where you will lift the ogidi. And once you are stable with the ogidi on your head, then you will be declared the crown prince of the Oka kingdom. And your coronation comes with the full moon. No, just that. Just the way it is. And I'm stable. Yes. <laughs> oh no, I can't boast of knowing the ritual of Ogidi. But I'm confident that I'm ready for it. <laughs> the girls cannot bring me this far. And let me chicken out. Hey, it is said that blood does not lie. The more you speak, the more I see our late king in you. Get ready for tomorrow. I forgive you. Thank you, yes. Father. Thank you, Father. I free you from every guilt. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As your father and your king, by the powers vested in me, I bless you this day. You shall be happy and fruitful in your husband's family. You shall be blessed in every way. In all ramifications of life, you shall be blessed. You shall see your children and your grandchildren, even your great grandchildren. You see. Thank you. Thank you father. so much, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You will be happy in your husband's house, you say? Yes, Father. It's <laughs> okay. Okay, let's let him rest, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father, I will come back to check up on you. It's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> The most important thing is that he was able to perform all the rituals that made you the prince, the crown prince of Ikenga kingdom before he passed on. Oh no. It's painful that I grew up without a father or sibling. Only for me to find my father and settle with him. Then he passes away. It's quite unfortunate. But that's the will of the gods. It's the will of the gods. So why are you saying I can't see my late father's remains? My prince, you cannot. You are going to be the king 
of a Kenga kingdom. And that means you are not allowed to see the remains of any dead person. No, you can't. Including my father. Dead body is dead body. So what about his funeral arrangements? How far have we gone? Oh well, the elders are already on it. Mm -hmm. And so, I suggest you start to decide on the maiden you have as a wife to assume the throne of Ikenga kingdom. You must have a wife. You must have a wife. Oh no. My prince. Where can I find an emergency maiden? Simple. I feel you should look inwards hmm. and look for a maiden that has the gifts of the gods. Friends. How do you mean? I am a king. Naturally, I am expected to be different. Father, even amongst kings, Father, your difference is still clear. Now I will ask you to explain where you're coming from. You have just my sister and I, but you've never allowed it to bother you the way it bothers other men when they do not have a son. Only the one who questions the gods allows such things to bother him. A female child is a child as much as the male child. <laughs> men who are men give their girls the support they need in life. A female child, from all I know, hardly disappoints. Oh, <laughs> father. <laughs> oh. Only few men reason the way you do. Thank you. <laughs> You're truly an honorable man. Thank you. And I'm extremely proud to be your daughter. Oh. I love you so much, father. I love you too, my daughter. <laughs> And I look forward to the day a suitor will come for your hand in marriage. Oh, Father, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Hey, listen, <sighs> once you indicate interest that this is the man with whom I want to live my life, leave the rest to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're welcome, man. I love you. <laughs> I am 
sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything I did to you. I am sorry for everything I did. I am sorry that I failed you. I am sorry that I am not... I wasn't the best sister to you. Honestly, she's all, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please. <laughs> Honestly, losing both parents is unbearably painful. It's too much for me. Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus, I cannot justify what I did. There is no justification for what I did. But I am begging you, for one who was once your sister, please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. This is very hard for me, but who am I? Who am I not to forgive? The sister that has been protecting me. <laughs> I forgive you. You're all that I have. You're all I have left. I just... I just pray that I can heal from this because the injuries are too much. That they are too much for me to bear. to try to forgive yourself. Please. I can't. Sister, you are the only family I have left. Jesus, I can't. You have to, please. Jesus, I can't. I can't. <laughs> My prince, you are getting me confused. Why are you nice to me all of a sudden? I am still a maid in this palace. My dear, you are not just a maid. You are a special one with a special gift. <laughs> Have you forgotten you are the one who unraveled the mystery surrounding both kingdoms? Thank you once again. My prince, I will not allow anyone to thank me for that. These things were deposited in my spirit and I spoke out. The gods should be praised. He said, I have promoted you from a maiden to a princess. A prince? My, my prince, you are confusing me. 
I am Nedi, one of the maidens in this palace. I know. But I have decided to promote you to the position of a princess. And I have instructed the palace accountant to pay in some money to your account. You have a dinner to attend. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Thank you. I'm so confused. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I will not be here asking questions. Fate has smiled on you. So just take advantage of it, my dear friend. <laughs> I don't know. I am so confused. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That made in uniform hid your beauty all this while. Thank you so much, my prince, for the promotion. Honestly, I appreciate you so much. You're I welcome. am so happy with my new self. Now that my coronation is around the corner, I feel that the maiden with a special gift from our ancestors is in the best position to pilot the affairs of this kingdom with me. Is it what I am thinking? Yes. Be my queen. And I will have no reason to fear because of your special gift. My prince, honestly, I am speechless. I am always with you, and yes, I will be your queen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. What if I give you love? Your love is what I need. What if I give you my heart? I know you. I mean, I have been following developments in the Oka Kingdom. And I know you are the one who is destined to be the king. The one Silas he was in ball before he got destroyed in that accident. I know all this. What I don't know, however, is what you have come to do in my house. Like you said, I am the one who has lifted the Ogidi. The one who is going to become king. I came to solicit for your partnership. I need a man like you when I become king. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. I was warned by many people not to visit you. I said many things. But I've taken my time to follow through all the things you have done. And I came to the conclusion that you were just looking for ways to better the kingdom. I appreciate the fact that you are saying this. I remain the most misunderstood man in the history of Dioka Kingdom. I told them that Nelson is not going to become king in this land because he's a stranger. They decided to fight me and impose him on the people. It backfired. How did you know that Nelson was not from this land? 
Men who are men ask questions. So many families are in ruins today because the men in those families do not ask questions. So many kingdoms are scattered because men in positions of authority in those kingdoms do not ask questions. I became curious when Silas Ibezim, the late king, was very desperate to impose Nelson as the crown prince of this kingdom without exposing him to new kingdom. I started to ask questions and I found out that Nelson is not from this land. I confronted the king and instead of him to listen to me and solve the problem, he barred me from the cabinet and I decided there that I will be one man riot squad who will fight the blunder. I believe you know the rest. I plead with you to return to cabinet. If I must succeed as a king, I need a man like you. Please. You have my support already. I mean, you're already talking like a human being. And I am impressed. I gather that your coronation is coming with the full moon. Correct. I will be there. I know you have so much to say, but I'll plead with you not to explain anything. I understand everything that happened. But I still owe you an explanation. All this while I was toying with your emotions. And now I have realized all the pain I put you through. No, 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 please, please, please. No, please. Obina, I am deeply sorry. I am, I am sorry for everything I did. Please forgive me. It's okay. My love, no matter what happened, you are still the princess of Ikinga. I won't allow you kneel before me. And you are not a commoner, so I can kneel before you. Remember, you are the crown prince of Tioka Kingdom, soon to be the king of the land. And that brings me to the reason I asked you to come. May I thank you very sincerely for accepting to come once again. Honestly, Obina, life has humbled me. So many lessons were thought within this period of time. I know everything. It's for our good. That is to prepare us for a better tomorrow and face the challenges. You say the nicest things. You are so sweet with words. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for being who you are. And thank you for not giving up on me. My love, I couldn't have given up on you. You are the water that springs up from my desert. Mm -hmm. The light that shines in my dark world. And the only air that I breathe. It is confirmed that I'll be the king of the Yoka. All rituals have been performed and my coronation comes up with a full moon. Wow. So I ask you, is there any reason why you will not rule the kingdom with me when I become king? It's been a long time coming. And I will forever cherish this day. 
it's been a long time coming. And today will be the best day of my life. I will cherish it till I die. And yes, Obina, I will be your queen. For you are the best man ever. Thank you. Thank you. Save my life, life, but you know, no, you're a man, a guy, but you know, no. What if I? What if I give you my heart? Your love is what I need. What if I give you love? Your love is what I need. Yes, you're gonna be more. Your love is what I need. Yes, you're gonna be more. Your love is what I need. Now we are in love. You are my happiness. Separate the love us. is what I need. The love is what I need. The love is what I need. Please help me now. 